Hey guys, today I'm going to make an easy shepherd's pie. So let's get toasting. This is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to make it in my toaster oven. So I have some 90% lean, 10% fat ground beef. This is this was organic, so that's one pound. I think that was $8.99. It's a little price here because it's organic, but was all they had. So I think by using the leaner ground beef, I don't have to drain it. So to kind of speed things along. You could probably use fattier ground beef, but it's going to be a little more greasy. Then I'm going to use instant potatoes for this and frozen mixed vegetables. So um, this is a four ounce package and it says to mix them with uh, two cups of water. So that is two cups of warm water I just got out of the faucet there. Get these uh, potatoes mixed up here first of all and then those will go on the top. So I'll get those going first so they thicken up a little bit. I'm going to use this 10 inch cast iron skillet because it fits perfectly in my toaster oven. bought this at Walmart for like eight bucks. If you don't have one of these, you could probably use a baking dish. Probably like a, I'm going to say probably an eight by eight baking dish would work about right. And I'm just going to spread the meat out evenly across the bottom of the pan here. And it's kind of lightly oiled. I keep my cast iron lightly oiled when I'm not using it. So it's kind of lightly oiled. If you're using, using a baking dish, you might want to just oil it a little bit on the bottom to keep the meat from sticking. And I'm going to season the meat with some salt and some Johnny seasoned pepper. I use this all the time. Besides pepper, this has sugar red and green bell pepper, garlic, and onion in it. And then I'm going to add some of these frozen mixed vegetables. Kind of spread those out. Okay, probably a little more. That's one cup, I think. Let's see. I think about two cups should be about right. We'll go with two cups. And there should be enough moisture in those potatoes once I put those over the top to, um, you know, help the vegetables cook. I think I'll season these lightly too with a little bit more of the Johnny's. And I don't think these vegetables have any salt in them. Some of the frozen ones do, so you might want to check that, but I'll add just a little bit more salt as well. And then I will take the, uh, the mashed potatoes and just put those over the top here and I'll spread those out over the top. That looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to sprinkle a little more Johnny's on top. This has no salt in it so just hit it lightly with a little more of the Johnny's seasoned pepper and we're ready to get those into the toaster oven. I set my oven to bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit and I'll let you guys know how long this takes. This was in the oven for 40 minutes and it's looking good. I just pulled it out. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of cheese over the top here and then I'll put it back in just for a few minutes until that cheese melts. That looks good. It only took about two minutes for the cheese to melt. One last thing, I have some green onion. I'm just going to Sprinkle a little of that over the top. It just gives it some more color. Plus, I like the flavor of green onion with potatoes. So, get that on there, and we're looking good. All right, let's dig into this thing and see how it looks. I'll just eat it right out of the skillet here. Kind of see how everything looks here. Kind of chop it up. Looks like the meat's cooked through there. And uh, hopefully the vegetables are as well. Okay, I'll just kind of get a bunch of everything here and we'll try a bite. All right, get a little cheese. Here we go. It's good, but it's very hot. Actually, that cheese on top added a lot to it. That's pretty good. Guess we better let Annie try it out. One piece of meat, Annie? There you go. She ate the pea first. <laughs> Annie approved. I made that the other day to try it out, but I didn't have any cheese. The cheese adds quite a bit to it. 
So that took about 45 minutes to cook at 450 degrees Fahrenheit in that little oven. These ovens may vary a little bit, so about 45 minutes. It only takes about five minutes to throw together, so it's pretty simple. Anyway, I'll write everything in the description like usual. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.